Video games can be a lot of fun and a great thing to do to pass the time. But some games, they go a bit too far. Here are the top five illegal video games you were warned not to play. Number five on this list is Silent Hill Homecoming. Silent Hill Homecoming was initially not allowed to be released in a few countries and have to make a censored version because it was just too gruesome. What Culture says the Silent Hill franchise has consistently offered up some of the most memorably unsettling imagery in the entire history of horror video games, and this reached a fever pitch with the release of 2008's Silent Hill Homecoming. When the game was being certified, Australia's Office of Film and Literature Classification objected to a horrific scene in which protagonist Alex and cultist Margaret Holloway wrestle over an electric drill, ending with either Holloway's face being drilled into a bloody mess or Alex getting drilled in the eye. Either way, not fun. The OFLC called this and several other mutilation sequences in the game High Impact enough to refuse it a classification, effectively banning Homecoming from being sold in the country. Much the same approach was also taken in Germany. The game was eventually granted a release in both countries, however, once Konami created a censored version several months later in which these scenes were edited with new camera angles, which concealed much of the explicit violence. Granted, many impatient fans had imported the bloodier original version from abroad by that point, resulting in the German authorities eventually seizing a shipment of uncensored copies in November 2010. So yeah guys, this game was basically listed as too graphic and scary to be shown in some countries. Germany and Australia typically pull the plug on games sooner than other countries for gore and violence, but still, that one scene that's described there sounds pretty bad. Literally however you spin it, somebody is taking a drill to the face. Comment down below if any of you have ever played this game before and what it was actually like. Do you think that it deserved to remain illegal? Number four on this list is Fear 2 Project Origin. Australia has once again stepped in and shut this video game down. What Culture says, Australia's OFLC banned horror FPS Fear 2 Project Origin from sale in the country due to its extensive violence and unforgiving tone. Their statement cited numerous examples of the player's ability to inflict dismemberments, slit throats in clothes close up and spray blood across the screen while expressing how disturbed they were by the game's enhanced graphics and realistic behavior of human and mutant foes. What exactly defines a realistic mutant? I don't know. Released years before Australia finally instituted the R18 Plus certificate, Fear 2 was refused classification as an MA15 Plus, leading to its de facto banning. Many commentators pointed out the OS FLC's bizarre hypocrisy towards horror themed games though, given that more action centric violent games like Grand Theft Auto and Gears of War had faced little resistance releasing in Australia. Regardless of the GTA release and other games that Australia has allowed to be played in their country, this one was not allowed. I think that because they ended up going in this direction, it should speak to how graphic this video game actually is. It might not have the same sort of dark murder simulator themes like some of the other sick video games on this list that we're going to get to, but apparently the gore is just brutal. I've never played any of these video games before, so if you're someone who has, then similarly to the last one, please comment down below your thoughts, and if you think it should have been banned everywhere, let me know. Number three on this list is Outlast 2. There are a lot of things about this game which make it one to avoid. What Culture says, despite the introduction of the R18 Plus rating in Australia in 2013, that still wasn't enough for first person horror sequel Outlast 2 to be granted a release, at least at first with the ACB taking massive umbrage with the game's implied sexual violence. Outlast 2 is certainly full of grotesque and, at times, envelope pushing imagery, though given that no other major gaming market in the world 
followed Australia's lead, eyebrows were immediately raised by fans and, indeed, developers Red Barrels themselves. Hilariously, it turned out that Red Barrels had accidentally sent the ACB footage from the alpha version of the game, which contained especially transgressive content, which the developer had already decided not to include in the final game. In a happy ending, the ban was overturned a mere two days later when Red Barrel sent in amended footage of the final build, which was granted a release under the R18 Plus banner. Regardless of whether the game eventually got released or not, it still is one of the most grotesque ones out there. It also has to make you wonder. What was in that first version that didn't ever get put out? What could have possibly made that so bad that the own creator didn't even want it in their own game? We may never really know, which in this case, probably for the best. Number two on this list is Manhunt 2. As if the original Manhunt wasn't bad enough, they decided to make a sequel to it. What culture says Rockstar Games is no stranger to courting controversy, and after the original murder simulator, Manhunt, was deemed injurious to the public good by New Zealand authorities while being incorrectly blamed for a high-profile UK murder, the publisher only doubled down on the transgressiveness for the sequel. Less than a month before Manhunt 2's planned release, it was refused classification by both British and Irish rating boards, with the BBFC citing its unremitting bleakness and callousness of tone, sustained and cumulative casual sadism, and unrelenting focus on stalking and brutal slaying. They also claimed the release posed unjustifiable harm risks to both adults and minors. Clearly, the panic among uneducated censors and fear mongers was that Manhunt 2's more realistic murder sequences might inspire the young and the vulnerable, who frankly shouldn't be playing the game anyways, to then take up arms after playing it. The US ratings body ESRB meanwhile issued it with an adults only rating, and given that Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony categorically don't allow AO games on their consoles, it meant that Manhunt 2 was effectively also banned in the US. The game was eventually released in America several months later after Rockstar undertook comprehensive edits to the game's violence, namely blurring brutal executions or removing them entirely, while also ditching the rating system for kills. I love video games, guys. I, I do. And I love a good shoot 'em up game as well. Like, they're a lot of fun. But do we really need to have a murder simulator game? Like, is that actually something that we need in the world? The fun part about shoot 'em up games is the whole competition of trying not to get killed, trying to avoid dying and completing the objective. The fun part isn't the actual murder itself. In a game like this, that's basically what they're promoting. I think Rockstar makes some incredible games. The GTA franchise is amazing, and Red Dead Redemption 2 was incredible, but I think that they missed the mark on this one. And finally, number one on this list is Hatred. I had never heard of this game before making this video, and honestly, I could have gone my whole life without knowing it existed. Gamers Decide says, Hatred is a game in which you play as the antagonist. The game features the antagonist going on a murdering crusade with only one goal in mind, to kill as many people as he can. Obviously, this did not go over so well with a lot of people. Hatred was banned in Germany for being too gruesome. This is to be expected, since Germany doesn't really approve of these kinds of games, especially when the only goal of the game was to spread hate and murder as much as you can. However, interestingly enough, it was even banned from Steam for a short period after it was released, and it's still one of the games that are not allowed to be streamed on Twitch. Literally, guys, you still can't even stream this game. That's how bad it is. I mean, it's basically just a mass murder simulator. Which, in all honesty, I wouldn't even want to play. In fact, I don't even know why this game was made in the first place. Like, in what way could playing a game like this possibly be fun? You would have a hard time even finding a way to play it now, but I highly recommend just avoiding it altogether. But there you have it, guys. That is our list of the top five illegal video games you were warned not to play. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other creepy illegal video games that you guys know about. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I will catch you next time.